Okay, hi everyone. Um, for the start of Unit 2, there's a couple of key things that you need to have an idea of. So first thing is looking at carbon here. Carbon is mainly what we're focusing on throughout this unit. Um, and we'll be looking at a lot of um, bonds with carbon with hydrogen atoms. Now from your bonding topic, which was one of the harder topics in the first unit, hopefully you will remember that carbon, if you look at your data book on page 6, has two electrons in the first shell and four electrons in its outer shell. Now carbon is four electrons short of having a full stable shell and so we can have four different bonds to the same carbon atom. Now that's really important when it comes to carbon chemistry and what we'll be looking at in unit two because of the different kinds of bonds that we're going to be making here. Now you hopefully remember that when we have our covalent bonding between our non-metals we will overlap these and say we have hydrogen coming in here, they're going to share their electrons. And that can happen for carbon four times. It doesn't always have to be hydrogen, but we'll use that for this case. We'll have hydrogen here, here, here and here. And this is methane. You also were taught about the shapes of certain molecules in the first unit. This had a very particular shape that we could either draw like this or we could also draw it with these bonds in here and four hydrogen still attached to my carbon. Remember each line, wedge or dash line is one pair of electrons and this shape is tetrahedral. So this was from the bonding part of unit one, where we learned this before. So that's unit one, bonding. If this is not really coming into your head, maybe worth having a wee look at the resources on Teams, going back, trying a couple of the exercises, just to make sure we're happy with what these different bonds are. For unit two, we're looking all about carbon chemistry, and it will be specifically carbons bonding to carbons, carbons bonding to hydrogens, and then a wee bit more later on. But to begin with, and what I thought would be really important for you to know firstly, are what happens if we have different carbons bonded together. So if I only have one carbon in my molecule, like this, we have things called prefixes. And the prefix tells you how many carbons are in the chain of the molecule you're looking at. So prefix tells us how many carbons are in the main chain. Okay. And there's a few, there's eight that you need to know in National 5. So the first one, meth, like in methane. Second one is eth, and then we have probe. The next one, but, not but. Then we have pent, hex, like the shapes, pentagon, hexagon, hept for seven, and oct for eight, like an octagon. Meth means we have one carbon atom. Eth means two carbon atoms. Probe, you guessed it, it's going to be three carbon atoms all the way down to eight. Let me just add all this in so we have a complete diagram. So these prefixes will tell us how many carbon atoms we have in the main chain of our carbon-based molecule. So if I said that I had something called propane, I'm not expecting you to know what that is yet, but I'm expecting you to know that prop means three, and so the main chain has three carbon atoms. And so your task is to come up with a sentence or a word to remember the order. So to come up with a sentence, or word to remember the order. Now you might have done this when you learnt about the rainbow and colours in primary school, when you learnt about Richard of York gave battle in vain or Roy G. Biv. 
I've got one that I'll show you just to demonstrate what to do, but I would like you to try and come up with your own. So the one that I like is Monsters. Kind of them. Eat. People. But. Prefer. Hairy. Haggis. Occasionally. M E P B P H H O. Meath, eath, probe, butte, pent, hex, hept, oct. One way to remember your order of your prefixes. That's the first thing that I would like you to do in this topic.